Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about uh, a hierarchy based data access control and there are uh, some prerequisites that we need to consider before uh, uh, configuring uh, hierarchy based DSE. So what is that prerequisite? Uh, basically only external hierarchies with a single pair of parent child column are supported. So this is the only type which is supported for uh, data access control like other uh, types like level based hierarchies dimensions with internal hierarchies and entities with a semantic usage of hierarchy with directory cannot be used and the data in your hierarchy must respect the below rules so what are those rules a single root node with a parent value of null that means the topmost node will have the parent value as null and no nodes with multiple parents so if there is one node it should not have multiple parents and no circular relationship like one node is a, a parent of another node and in turn it is again uh, the child of uh, the another node so creating a circle like the parent and the child then parent then child and at the end it merges to the same one so that is what called circular relationship so that is also uh, not uh, acceptable for the hierarchy based tac so we'll move to the demo session now okay so basically we will need um, two tables to be configured to use this um, hierarchy based data access control so this is our hierarchy table where we will have uh, the child the parent and if any additional information if you want to put you can put like the sales organization uh, name so here we will be using sales organization as the hierarchy and their parents so for example we have a sales organization whose id is 1000 name is global and the parent is null and then we have North America whose ID is 1100 and the parent is global. That means uh, North America comes under global and within North America we have Canada. You can see 1100 is the parent ID. We also have USA. We also have California and Texas. So similarly under uh, Europe we have germany france and ontario so uh, this is how this is just a very uh, simple example because uh, i have taken the region or the country for the ease of understanding but it can be any other uh, ch parent child relationship as well so this is how you need to create a hierarchy table uh, and the other data that you need to maintain will be your DAC permission table so in the permission table you only need two columns one is the user id whichever is however the user is logging either saml or user id or email id here you can see i have put it the dummy data for uh, most of the entry only this one is my trial account uh, email id so i will test with sales organization 1100 so this is my testing so here we will create our hierarchy table first. So it is deployed successfully. Now we will go to the data builder and we will open the hierarchy table. So because uh, this is a hierarchy table, we will select the respective semantic usage, which will be hierarchy.
and then so parent will be parent child will be sales sales organization this the desk okay so this will be our key and we can deploy it so our hierarchy table has been deployed now so now we will create our permission table so we will import the data from csv and we'll select our sales organization permission table click upload click on deploy so it's deployed successfully okay so now we will create a data access control so we'll click on data access control in data builder and we'll select the structure as hierarchy the table will be our permission table which is sales organization permission table and identifier is our user then we can put the criteria business name as sales organization and in the hierarchy entity we can select our sales organization hierarchy and in criteria we can select the sales organization and we can deploy the solution so it has been deployed now now we'll create a graphical view So we will create a view on sales organization sales order data which is a transaction data and without applying any data access control we will first deploy the solution so let's name it as sales organization hierarchy dac view and save it so the view has been deployed now we'll try to see the data So here you can see I am able to see all the records which is 334 that I have uploaded um, using the flat file. Now I will apply the data access control. So I will go here and add the data access control which we just created which is this one and click on select. So once you will select the data access control, it will ask for the mapping. So mapping is what is your sales organization. So this is your sales organization. Okay, so the mapping is done. We will deploy the solution again.
So it is deployed now. So now we will refresh the records and we'll see like how many records we are able to see now. So previously we were able to see uh, 334 records now only 164 so let's validate the data if it is coming as per our mapping or not so here you can see we are able to see sales organization 1700 1300 1400 1100 okay so i will i'll open the uh, data record again okay so these were the file that i have uploaded so this is my user id that means i should have the access for organization 1100 now if i check in my hierarchy table i can see i have access to 1100 sales organization okay so let me highlight those for your understanding so this is the one and then because um, these are the parents so if i have access to north america that means as per the hierarchy rule whatever comes under north america i will have the i should have the access okay so this means i should have uh, access for organization sales organization 1100 in transaction data 1300 1400 uh, 1700 and 1800 these five now if i go to my table here this is my transaction data sorry so this is my transaction data if i put a filter and i see the total number of records is 334 one with the header if i just filter out the expected company codes 3 4 7 16 17 let me double check again if i remember correctly 11 13 14 17 18 sorry it is 13 14 17 18 let me go back here so 13 14 and 17 18 so these are the records i am expecting that means 164 now if i go back to the data sphere we can see there are 164 counts and also the sales organization are the same like 13 14 and 17 18 and 1100 so you you will not see any other sales organization so that means our uh, data restriction is uh, working perfectly fine so this has an advantage like uh, based on the hierarchy if if the hierarchy structure changes then we do not need to bother about changing the uh, permission uh, in uh, permission table so however the hierarchy will get updated throughout the organization it will automatically uh, provide the access to the business user so this is uh, where the hierarchy based dsa is uh, really helpful this was all for today's session hope you like the content uh, i will come up with uh, other uh, topics in the upcoming videos till then stay tuned have a nice day bye bye